Obviously chewing into a fair bit of their reserve time to think about this fourth pick. Maybe they're looking to address the Naga Simon already. And it's actually a sniper. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Uh, I mean, it is good because, you know, you see this hero go for Maelstrom. Uh, the reach for Reapers is a bit limited. Like, yeah, maybe you can get Miran and Arrow, but Viper, Naga Sign, these aren't exactly giant mobile heroes, Strength Protector as well. So their catch for the Sniper is barely there. And you have two good bodies in front of you with the Primal Beast and the Tusk. Mm -hmm. Why well, I assume are the two and three. These are very durable supports to have. So... Um, Reapers, are they bet out the puck, so they're not feeling like it's a Tusk mid. They feel like it's a Tusk, I want to say four, but there's also Rubik, and these two heroes generally both go four because they need a little bit of extra resources, more so than, mm. than the five pro typically gives you. Yeah, I agree. I, I think in those two, I would assume the Tusk would be the five. It's going to be the support. Um, I think it works quite well with the sniper. Like, you can, yeah. obviously, in the laning phase, go on someone, block them in with the shards, easily sets up for good mm. shrapnel damage. Like, that, that in itself does sound like a decent combo. Um, mm. And yeah, so I guess for Reaper, they're probably looking for a mid laner then that can have a decent amount of backline reach. Like, as we just seen, Neon yeah. taking away the Void Spirit, a very key hero to remove. Uh, maybe see the Ember Spirit banned out as well. Obviously, another hero tr uh, traditionally can just fly into the backlines and do as much damage as possible. Uh, it's already banned. I think, I think second band of Neon is the Ember Spirit. So yeah, they're definitely... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have a problem with that. Bad Riders also been banned by Reapers. What's it? Let's see. What do they? They? Oh yeah, no, their own no Ember Spirit, no, no Brood Mother. They have the Mirana, but they pick. And so is a mid laner that, that gets some catch. Storm Spirit is still in the pool, and so something like a Dawnbreaker. If you can get someone next to the Sniper, the Dawnbreaker can help. But overall, Reapers, yeah, the the catch is a bit is gonna be a problem for them. The Sniper pick from Dion has been very nice. Yeah, so we'll see what they're going to grab up for the final bit pick here. And what is going to be, what, what do you sort of think is going to be the main one they're going to go for? I mean, I've always been a fan of Kunkka, but we'll see what they go with. They go, oh, they go with the tiny. Okay, so it's oh. going to be one of the heroes that can blink. You can also toss people to the sniper if you can. Mm -hmm. I, li I, I, li I like the tiny pick. Again, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know if it, it solves a bit of the problem, but I do feel like the other four don't contribute. So, Maybe Tiny can jump, you know, blink, stun, Mirana arrow, then you can catch the sniper. But overall, it does feel like the sniper is going to be well protected with the, you know, the snowball, the Rubik lift with the shard can save him as well. You got mm -hmm. a big body with the primal beast. So overall, the sniper still feels like he's not, he's not solved. No, yeah. So it, it feels like then this last pick from Neon can, I don't know, I guess just focus on destroying the Tiny as much as possible in the mm -hmm. lane. Because, yeah, like you said, the, the sniper feels relatively uncounted so far. So we'll see what they're going to go and, for. Plenty of reserve time to work with. And I don't like the ta Tusk mid as much anymore because uh, Tiny will take the you know the three grab and then you have a ton more base damage than the Tusk. And you might sometimes you see Tusk put one point in the tag team just so that you can be like, oh, we have a little bit. I have a little bit of extra damage so I can actually CS. Yeah. Um, Primal Beast does a little bit better against the Tiny because of the passive. I forget the name. I think I believe it's Uproar. It does give you a, little, a bit of base extra damage so you can contest the Tiny. But overall. You might want to go for something like, I don't want to say Huskar, but some sort of either range hero who doesn't care about the tiny. Maybe a Zeus wouldn't be so bad. Something who can help you with the Naga Siren illusions. I, yeah. I'm feeling a bit of the Zeus, honestly. Yeah, Zeus works quite well because obviously then like the Tusk Primal Beast can set up for those global ganks because all you're going to need is a, a Thunder God's Wrath and a Nimbus, and you're pretty much find a kill guaranteed. But it's a clockwork. Okay, ah. so it is, it is going to be Tusk mid then, I would assume. Yeah. Yep, it is gonna be. Yeah, it's uh, it is the Tusk mid, and okay, I like this a lot. Wait, let me let me make sure. Uh, yeah, Ken is their mid lane, and Rio is gonna take the off lane. Fortune Soul on the sniper, and Hated is going to be playing the position five Clockwork. So it is going to be Rubik four. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, the Clockwork and sniper is super good, right? You call, you put the shrapnel on top. It's yeah. a lot of damage. Mira doesn't care, but Viper is relatively slow moving. So if you can, you know, you first you have to throw a shrapnel, to slow him on the way out, then Clockwork on top. You can kill him and. Uh, Clockwork is a very durable support. 3.5 mm. strength gain, decent armor, good movement speed. I think something like 310 or 315, so he can catch the Viper. Yeah, like it I... pretty much works the same way we were saying with the Tusk in his lane. Like, pretty mm. much exactly the same premise. I mean, I was going to pick Neon, honestly, for, unless, unless the draft was like really one side towards Reaper. But over, but even so, like Neon's draft is, is very durable. You have three durable heroes. You got a lot of stuns, which we love. 
and uh, you have the sniper that feels uncountered. Reapers, their control is a bit less. They have good team fights with the overgrowth, but I don't feel like that's enough. Like you have the song overgrowth setup. It's a lot on toy to really come online and mix and win this for the team. Maze will have to make lost space for them. Feels like it's harder to put off for Reaper. So I'm like, I'm like 80% on Neon, 20% that Reaper can take it. So I'm, yeah. I'm all in on Neon. Yeah, no, I think I agree with that. I think definitely Neon is going to be coming out ahead. Uh, I sort of guess that with the Naga Siren, the the, the song, the ultimate, mm. has to just be used to find the sniper. Just pop that, run through the entirety of Neon, locate the sniper, and then set up for an easy Marana arrow and try and just burst him down as fast as possible. But even if you do that, you're still going to have the, the Primal Beast and the Tusk doing a hell of a lot of damage mm. afterwards. Um, but that, yeah, I feel, I feel like that's sort of going to be the main way that, that Reaper has to take these coming fights. So, all right, so we're both in on, ne on Neon, which means the Reapers will definitely win. I think that's yeah. just how it works. When the when the casters all agree, they're like, yeah, oh, uh, it's like, you know, everyone's like watching, like, oh, the casters all agree. All right, honey, put the house on the other team. You know, that's how it works. Uh, let's hope, yeah, we're not just going to give them a bit of the, uh, the old casters curse. But yeah, we are now into the game. So we will move on over and get this show started. I believe if everything's on right. Freaking out. Yeah, the camera's on the right spot. Awesome. Here. All right. So it doesn't look like we're going to get any sort of crazy first blood play. Actually, I say that, and the entirety of Reaper have gone for a smoke maneuver heading into their own jungle. Perhaps they might want to try and catch somebody out if they can. Grab that easy first blood. Yeah, like I guess I'm also sending those mirror images for just seeing if we can find anyone. Uh, unfortunately, what's your arrow setup? If you can get... Like, Tiny doesn't want to take Avalanche level 1. In fact, he did take the tree throw, so that means that... It's really going to be just sort of a blind arrow, you know, like with no setup. Maybe the tree can, if you can throw a good nature's grasp that helps. But overall, yeah, it's not much setup, right? It's like the, it's a couple of slows and then Mirana Gondry has to do his best. And not really the best. Uh, not really working for him. I think Neon would have a better first uh, first blood attempt with their skills and with their heroes. Yeah, so it, it, you could, it's all... It looks like they sort of committed to try this first of using both of their wards in the same area to mm. really see if anyone from Neon steps out. I mean, they do get the spot onto uh, Hated right now. There's also obviously Ken hitting the creeps, but they're not all set up. Very spread out of the moment for Reaper. It looks like Toy might be in some danger right now. Henry's on the case, but can't really get the hold of anyone. So it looks like it's just going to be a two for two split on the bounties. Actually, the top one's left yeah. uncontested. It might just be sat uh, there for a while. <laughs> I'm excited to see what exactly Maid can do in the mid lane against Hated. Uh, sorry, not against Hated, against uh, Ken, my bad. Uh, because if, like, Tiny, you can shut the Tusk down, you can delay his level 6 thanks to the Denies, and you can, you know, if you can get a fast Blink Tag, that'll be very helpful for your team. So, and it is a lot on, on Maid to make space. You know, we know Tusk naturally at level 6 once you have. You know, a couple points, they shot the snowball, and you get the wall response. You can just roam around, get easy kills. Luckily for, for Reapers, their draft is not the easiest to burst down. You know, Treant has a lot of health. Mirana can jump. Uh, Naga Siren as well. You have to get the right one off. So it's not the easiest to get these kills off with the Tusk, but you're still a Tusk. You know, you're still a very active mid laner. Yeah, that is very true. Not one of those heroes that like to just sit AFK and hit creeps. Want to try and use that level six as early as possible when, once he does actually find it. Where a hero like Tiny, you, level six isn't actually a power spike at all. We don't really care about that. It's just about maxing, obviously, avalanche toss. Uh, maybe tree grab. Depends how Maid's going to play. I mean, Ken's getting dangerously low right now. I think he's lucky that yeah. Maid didn't have a tree on him. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice part about the the tiny. You know, when you play him as a core, you take a three grab, you just do so much damage. A lot of his splash damage as well. Ken, he snowballs just to get a couple of CS, but. Yeah, you're right. His health is... Uh, he's taking. He's used almost every tank. He's got one left, probably going to Iron Branch and eat that one. But overall, he has been suffering in terms of the health department. So yes, it's not so bad, though. No, yes. Equal 6-2, six 6-2 and two, six and two at the moment. But obviously, that's just going to get much worse now. He's completely out of regen. He does have enough for his bottle momentarily. So that will be coming out. And he should be able to uh, get a refill, perhaps, on the two-minute water rune. Unless there's a surprise rotation for one of the supports. I can snatch it away from him. <laughs> Interestingly enough, they decided to put um, the tree protector top and the Mirana bottom. I guess uh, feeling like you know they they need some another body for the Viper in front. Tree protector does that way better than the Mirana, where you can go in. You know, with the leech seed, you can get some health back. If you put on a, a living armor or an ancient you can also maybe get like a lot of slows. But hated, he's level. So he wants to go in. He wants to 
I don't know if he really wants to go in. This is a bit scary. Yeah, yeah he's taking a lot of beat into this. He just wanted to secure that ranged creep. Doesn't get huge. I mean, he loses half his HP, but he's still got Tango to work with and a healing salve. So I think in the grand scheme of things, a position five support, managing to get a range creep last hit and <laughs> not dying, that is whew, that is game changing that. Massive. Uh, it's like when you're playing uh, Bounty Hunter and you go into a Crystal Maiden Draw Ranger lane and you just get that that one hit, you're like, all right, 12 gold. And now I have to buy a salve. Yeah. You know, like every time. Yeah. That's how it works. Swings and roundabouts, I suppose. That's the beauty of Dota. Oh, well. Well, yeah. well so. if you want to, Hayes could take a point in Rocket's Flare just so that he can get those, uh, like those creeps that you were mentioning. But overall, you also want the cogs and you usually want to go something like three and one by level, sorry, two and one by level three. So you have two battery assault, one. Okay, that gives you killing potential. And if you go 1 1 1 by level 3, it's not as good because Barrier Salt damage more than doubles at level 2. So, a bit of an awkward situation to be there. Yeah, definitely is. So far, it actually seems like uh, Fortune Soul, the position 1 sniper, is the person struggling with CS at the most. And talking about him, he's getting ran out right now from Hong Hong, but he is going to be there making some space with the old uh, cogs with the shrapnel on top. Might be able to do a decent amount of damage to this Viper, and he's got to be careful. He's overstaying his hand right now. He's going to try and trade for the sniper as best he can, but it's just not going to matter. The sniper getting the first blood start to the game here might get brought down from Hong Hong. One more right click, so he's going to oh. need, but there is going to be the cogs, the Nature's Grass off the mark, and now this. Triant is in real danger. This could be a free double kill for the sniper, Oof. and he gets it. What a fantastic start here for the safe lane of Neon. I mean, I, this is what we expected to happen, right? We were saying that this is a very dangerous combo, the sniper as well as the clockwork. Someone and uh, you know, they, they like the viper. He's not, he's not. Fat. He's 275 movement speed, by the way. He yeah. is very slow. You put shrapnel, you put cogs on top of it. He's gonna suffer. Meanwhile, sorry, in the bottom lane, I, I was. Talking around and <laughs> saying nothing, that, and, but Rubik does lose his life. That's like, it looks Battling. Like it, it looks like it was just a solo kill actually there for uh, Gondry. He must have caught him out whilst he was hitting a creep or something maybe, or just the slow harassment built up. Who knows? We're talking about top. Hey, just getting gone again. Actually trapped both of them in with these cogs. He will lose his life, but Fortune Soul is going to be able to do a decent amount of damage in return. Mm. But regardless, the support is down. But hey, to be honest, as a support, going back to base, full HP, full mana to return. You bring in items for you and your core. It doesn't feel that bad, to be honest. I think he's fine with that trade. It depends on how greedy you are. For me, I'm like, no, I died! My KDA! <laughs> this is definitely not going to the highlight reel, you know? This, uh, that, that is not true. this game, at least. No, you know, that, that's where you spam the game is hard chat line, right? Mm. Just make sure that you keep it all nice and uh, above board. Keep the spirits high, that's the main thing. It wasn't my fault, it was my carry's fault if he had just Ooh. supported me. Looks like down bottom, Toy's taking a bit of a beating right now. Primal Beast is on the case, he's getting really low, but can't quite finish the job. I know Enry's got to be careful, the illusions plus the hits from Gondry. Bring them low, but he's going to be okay. There's actually no regen left for this Naga. Maybe mm, there's a south. Oh! <laughs> he dies, two people die at the top as well. Trades happening absolutely everywhere across this map. The only people not dying is actually the mid lane. But for Neon, they're very happy with this, right? Bottom lane, they get the enemy carry. Top lane, they get rid of the Viper. So, again, Neon, 1,000 gold lead, but the lanes are really looking well for them. And the CS in general for the Radiant side is not amazing. You know, Toy is sitting at the bottom as well as the RGB. Remember, this is a Viper. This is a hero that's supposed to dominate the lane, and he has got the lowest CS right now. Yeah, that's definitely not a nice place to be. Maybe they might change up. Obviously, level three is the key power spikes. The Trian's got his. He's trying to actually cut off the sniper right now. RDP's coming in, but like you said, he's so slow. It takes him forever to get in range for these right clicks. Fortune Soul was taking a bit of a beat, and he might just die to the dots. Can he get the kill onto the Trian in return? He does find it. Not going to get the XP, but the money is still there. And the Rubik getting involved, but completely out of mana. Can't really do too much. Actually, he's got plenty of mangoes, and Hated is coming to the back lines. They might try and take down this position three. Support duo is going to do their best. Cogs are there. Ah, there's more than enough. He is a goner. So and that's the poor guy. third death now for this Viper. Sub seven minutes in. He is having an awful game right now. He yeah. is level four and the Rubik is level five. That is very tough. He, he is four, four and about a third. So uh, yeah, that's nice for him. But it has been really tough. Again, this is a Viper. You know, this is the hero that's supposed to always do really well in the laning phase and he's seeing lowest net worth and viper's not a hero that can do plays like you need items because you're kind of a body you know you're moving forward people try to bring you down you have like oh i'm high level i have all these defensive items i'm hard to kill with cross skin but if you're 
Like if you're not there, if you don't have, if you're not ahead, you just become super weak. But Maid is in the top lane. He might be able. He's invis. He might be able to, say, to salvage this lane phase for them right now. Yeah, if they can get another kill here onto Fortune Soul, it's going to be massive. Maid's going to be there. Easily sets up, tossing him into the waiting arms of the Viper, and that is a dead sniper indeed. Ken's also made his own rotation. Might be able to get the trade onto the Viper. He's got the living armor, so he's lasted a long time. Eventually, will still fall. Hated might just drop here. One final hit from Maid finds the kill, but a rotation from the Rubik finds the counter kill. Even on the Mirada getting involved, landing a lot of spells onto Ken. He's quite low. He's still trying to run in. Has to retreat now. Only a couple of hits left on him, but Maid's just bottling up on the back lines. Maybe he might try and find the opening. He's going to bump straight into Ken right now. He's got a toss available. Oh, I don't think they saw him. I think the Fog of War just on the outside. But they're going to meet for the rune. And that's going to be a dead Ken for sure. There's nothing he can do. And Ken, he had, the, he had both the snowball, he had the wall sprite, he had everything ready, but getting a little bit greedy here and, and lost his life in, in return. But top lane, the action continues. You know, all both supports for Neon are up here. And just trying to make sure Fortune Soul's alive. And he's gone for the double Wraith Band power trade. So he's not the easiest guy to bring down. And I love the I love that uh, these items that upgrade at 25 minutes. The bracers, the Wraith Bands, they feel so so good to get early on. You're like, I'll be getting benefits from this for the entire game. Yeah, they, it was a nice change when they brought that in. It's just like a subtle mm. difference, but it does make picking up those items feel a bit better. It doesn't feel like such dead gold at the end of the day. Uh, mm. But I, I guess out of that entire outcome, I think Reaper's probably happy with it. Sure, the Viper died for the fourth time. They lost the treat as well, but killing both the carry and mid laner in quick succession, it's a big, big change in the uh, sort of momentum of this game. Now, I think even Hated lost his life in that exchange, right? The clockwork. So, yeah, they got That's a little true. more, little, a lot of that. RDP, though, he is. Uh... He's in front, and he might be losing his life. Level because 6 of this. The, the Rubik already. Stolen Leap Seed, mm. chucking it straight onto RDP. Again, trapped in the cogs. No hope of survival whatsoever. He is brought down. Can they also find the tree? And he's going to do his best to run through the trees, but you can't hide from the shrapnel. Gives him all the vision in the world. Headshot to bound. He's going to use his stick charges, but I don't think it's going to make much difference, or is it? Nah, there it is. Fade Bolt for the final touch. Uh, very close to reaching level 7 on the Rubik, whereas RDP now even level 6. And uh, this, this is a 2 and 5 Viper. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't mean to say that you're playing, but he has just been having a brutal laning phase so far. It has been really tough for, for him. The Clockwork Sniper combo has worked really well. And unfortunately, Triet, while you can sort of like mitigate some of the damage and harass command. Oh, mid lane? I actually can. Oh, making a move on towards mate, see what they can do, but obviously he's a very tanky man, and it looks like Neon might have to decide to change their mind. Gondry even coming in, looks like they're gonna try and focus on Ken. The Avalanche lands, net, arrow, all the spells in the world. He's still a tanky hero though, but might get dropped down, has to go into Snowball. Henry's holding them all at bay with the old, but Hong Kong will die, and now the Naga Siren trapped inside the cogs, trying to do what he can to survive, but not actually got the level. Uh, the old are, but still Maid gets a nice combo down, manages to take down the Primal Strip, but it looks like Kondry's still going to die. Now they actually might change the target onto Maid, but I think everyone's running out of mana, all their spells are on cooldown. The Tree Toss! <laughs> what an absolutely fantastic target. The Toss though actually lands on the Creep, so that Maid does not get the burst damage onto the Rubik. That might just cost him his life. There is going to be the Living Armor trying to keep him up. More sh <laughs> shards Lord, trapping him in, and eventually he goes down. What a chaotic fight, whole team fight happening at a sub 11 minutes into the game. By the way, you know the only person who did die in that one? The Viper. He's the only one who didn't die. <laughs> He's like, like, I get him off, guys. You're on your own. I'm farming. I've, I've taken their punches enough. It's now time for everyone else to get some of that love. Uh, for Neon, they only lost Henry Yu on the Primal Beast. Everyone else came, well, survived. So it's a, just another huge win for them. And, Hmm. It's a bit scary for Reaper's draft. Again, the Viper does not scale very well late game, and Miran and er Miran trade protector they have fine support stat, but Miran's a, it's like you know if you land the arrows that's great. If not, you rely on your farm, and she's not getting that much farming. She's obviously support, but yeah. if your team is behind, the hero does feel a lot less useful. Yeah, that is very true. It looks like they just got to start changing their sort of strategy around a little bit. Maybe you just poking onto Maid. The both supports were behind there on Ken, but they didn't quite want to commit. It was too far on the other side of the river. They're actually going to go for this immediate three-man smoke maneuver. And they're going to head down into the Radiant Jungle. They might bump into Toy here if they go towards the left, and they will. It looks like Reaper's going to have to start bringing some heroes in right now to try and save it. Does actually dodge the snowball. That's a nice little touch, but there's just too many spells. So much reach, so much grab and control. Down he goes. Even made... Yeah. 
Trying to get the haste, which gets denied. Fortune Soul right in front of his face. In comes the rest of the team. They can just plow on top of this tiny. Nowhere to run. It's going to be another death for him. Maybe we're thinking about going onto the tree protector, but I think that one's going to be a bit, bit of a stretch, guys. Can't get him. Uh, what do you think is the worst spell Rubik can steal in this game? Uh. Probably the one he has right now. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of, it's pretty rubbish. I mean, maybe he can dodge like Viper Strike or an arrow, perhaps if he times it really well. That'd be like the only good thing to come out of it. Uh, look, look, he's like, look, guys, I'm helping. You know, <laughs> look at my illusions. They're doing two damage each to a tower. That's pretty, that's pretty good. But yeah, he, he's level nine on the Rubik, dude. He is absolutely styling in this game right now. Yeah, that is exactly what you want. First game of the tournament, like first teams in as well, and having Sorry? this sort of a start. They found the Naga. Is he going to be dead again? It's actually Moonlight Shattered. There's no detection available. No one's bought any smokes or sentries or anything, so he's able to get himself out. Looks like the rest of Reaper, though, they want to get involved, trying to use this to their advantage. Focusing on to hate right now, but even the clockwork's quite tanky. He uses the hook to get himself out of there. Hong Hong is a dead mate, though. Focusing on towards the Rubik. Can they kill this overlevel man? He's still alive for now, but will eventually drop. But it doesn't really matter. Reaper sustained such heavy losses for this, and it's going to be the sick death for the Viper this game. Sure, they managed to kill that Rubik at long last, but it just was not worth it. Yeah, oh. and for, dude, oh. they might be. They hit the Kodot toy as well. He's the only survivor there for Reaper. They're not, they're not gonna let that stand. They're gonna take him down as well. He'll try his best to get on that. Oh, he actually avoids the cog. The cog. He's a slippery little fish, man. But he's trying to get himself out. One shards gets him at long range. So That's always the fun part uh, about playing Clockworks. That occasionally you cog the wrong in the, the wrong situation, your te whole team pings you. And you're like, <laughs> oh, so sorry guys, I thought I got him. But uh, another really nice thing for Nia is that Fortune Soul is 3,000 gold ahead of pretty much everyone else in the game. Like, he had an absolutely free lane. He is, what, what has he got? Six, eight kills, eight and two on this uh, sniper. He's got the mail so he farms very fast as well, clears out illusions. And Reavers, they gotta find a way to slow down the game. Blink Dagger is finished on mate. I think he just got it. Or... So that might be their, their avenue back, you know, if he can jump on people. Yeah, they, they have to make this item work, get multiple pickoffs, because they are just hemorrhaging this game. 7k gold lead at 15 minutes in. Like I said, that, that sniper is just an absolute beast right now. I think he's probably got top kill involvement, he's got top CS mm -hmm. as well. He's just an absolute machine. Top lane. Looks like toy. He's yeah. got to sleep. <laughs> He's dead. Double damage. Walrus punch to the face. And that is uh, how many deaths is that now for the Naga? Zero, five, and two. This is not good. I not like, good at all. I like that the moment he reached level nine, he's like, I'm going to take the sleep. And I was like, oh, oh here you go. The blink reveal. Yeah, it might be. They can't even burst the Rubik. He's still alive. Should still drop one final right click and make it get him through the trees. Actually, the dot finishes them off there from RDP. So again, they managed to find the Rubik, but still they're losing so much more. Another kill for the Sniper. I mean, it's still worth it. He rides, we can kill the Rubik. Like this, he's not exactly a support right now. He's almost <laughs> the same level as the Tiny. He got a nice chunk of gold out of it, but yeah, it is. Uh, like you said, this is the Blink Reveal Reapers. They need to keep doing getting these pickoffs, making sure Toy has a good has has a recovery game. I was going to say a good game. I'm like, he doesn't have a good game right now. He's going to have to recover. He's Lowest net worth among all the cores, and that's not what the Naga, you know, is known for. No, yeah. It's all about just getting that split sort of farm of all the illusions, but he just has no space at all. He actually has nearly half the net worth of Sniper now. There is that much of a rift between these two that I, I don't know how they can even recover. They just have to play absolutely flawlessly as a team to try and turn this game around. And it's not looking good. No, it's not. And... Uh, another thing is a Treant Protector, by the way, level 7, so he's, he's trying to keep the, his towers alive. Oh, top yeah, lane. they're trying to kill the uh, Rubik again. They do manage to find him, but it looks like Maid's going to get punched with this one. Not worth it this time if the Tiny actually dies in response. Looks like the Mirana's going to be able to get out, though. So, yeah. One, the Rubik three. had a bigger bounty, had a bigger bounty so you're kind of okay with that. Uh... Unfortunately, it's the position for Mirana that gets the money. Not quite ideal. At least with the Moonlight, they want to try to go on to Kemba. They're underneath a Sentry war, uh, Ward right now, so 
They see that move coming a mile away, and the line is drawn, so it looks like Neon actually want to try and take this fight. Point blank arrow lands onto Haiti, but regardless, the snowball was there. They've got the connection, Ooh. but Kendo immediately changes target, jumps on towards the Viper. Fortune Soul was there, raining those shells in from afar, will kill the Viper. Even the Primal Beast just annihilating oh two God. people in the back line. And the clockwork doesn't even die. It's another one-sided fight there for Neon. You know, Reapers is not a bad team. I know people watch, watching this game might think, oh, they're very outclassed. They're not, they've got like, you know, the top 200 in the region playing here. You know, they got really impressive players, but it's clear that the team is a little out of their depth, at least in game one, right? You know, they're, the draft is a bit slow with the Naga Siren. You got what, three into the Mirata make space for it. That's not the best supports. Mm -hmm. made in, like, he had a decent laying phase, but it's not enough. And the RDB just suffered. So Neon with the 10k advantage, they look, they look like they're miles ahead of them, which is kind of the crazy thing about Dota, right? Like, one team is a little bit better than the other team, but we watch them play, it, like, oh, they look like they're just smashing them. But yeah, it definitely like, does. Reaper's a good team. I mean, maybe you can chalk it up to, you know, say this is technically a warm-up game, maybe. Like we were saying, it's first first game in the tournament. I think this is the first game that Reapers have played competitively for two and a half weeks or something. So, I don't know. Maybe they are just feeling a little bit rusty. But after this game, number one, whether they win or lose, they're definitely going to feel a bit more fluid going into the second, I'm sure. But we do see an actual mover happen right now. They've got the grab on the Viper. The tree and old gets dropped. And where was the Viper? All dumped on towards this clockwork. They do manage to find the kill. That's just a support. And meanwhile, the sniper just do whatever the hell he wants. Now godlike spree. 18 and a half minutes. Primal Beast into the back lines. He's got the grab on towards made right there. Everyone else in full retreat. But Ken, he spots both the supports hiding in the trees. That's a dead tree for sure. Maybe Gondry can get out, but he's got no 34 leap. seconds for another leap. He's going to try his best, but the charge finds him. And there's no way to survive this. Another kill for Fortune Soul. I, I, yeah, this game, I don't want to say it feels over, but it nearly feels over. And now, look, they're not even done. They found Toy as well, just chilling in the mid lane, trying to farm what he can. Oh. He does at least have the song. Sorry, but the oh, my, oh, he's trying, he comes with his TP. Don't he gets it. hit by the rocket. Oh, God. He, I thought. He canceled his TP. Oh. It doesn't, there isn't a mini stud, is there? Oh it no, it is. does mini stun, it, it does mini stun, of course. Yes. Oh my lord, I thought they only got the mini stun when you got the axe, but never mind. Absolutely fantastic play there from Neon, getting that plus one, and now straight into the Roche pit, because why the hell not? No, at that point it becomes a stun, right? You lose the mini part, but uh, dude, I thought it was, I was like, okay, he's got the sleep, he's gonna make it home, he's gonna be safe, but holy moly, did he suffer for that toy. Now 0 at 7, and oh, the sleep is used by the Rubix, but they can't find anyone yet. Live out of the range, still first and onto the Viper. He drops down his ultimate onto Ken, but it's not really going to phase the Tusk. Gondry, oh, that dust actually doesn't quite hit him. So he's going to be able to walk away at least, but regardless, it's another free kill. It was space for the Sniper to finish off Roche. Now 12k gold lead. This man's got an Aegis in tow, building in towards a Satanic next. So he's going to just feel so unkillable at that point. Yeah, the control from uh, Reaper is also not that incredible, but... Uh, the, the graph is only says 88% for Neon, you know? The AI still believes that 1 in 10 times Reapers will take this game. Or like 1 in 9, actually. So, I mean, I mean there's hope. There is hope. Like, it is possible, oh. but they need amazing synergy. But talk about that, Hong Kong just gets picked off so easy right now. And Toy, he steps out of position for a moment's notice. And he just gets picked straight away. Another two people in the grave right now. And Fortune Souls is going to be able to easily siege this tier 2. Obviously better uh, attack range than the tower, so absolutely no way to save this one. A couple of key items are up. The Mantis style on the Naga Siren. We have Blink Dagger on Maid the Tiny as well as Echo... Sorry, uh, Blink Dagger on the on the, uh, on Treant's Protector, so he might be able to jump in and get big overgrowth. You know, and you also have the Mech on Mirana, on Gondry coming out very soon. And if he, if he wants it, in fact, he can just get it right now. So... A couple of items coming out from Reaver, but I don't know if it's enough to go through the BKB on Enryu. It's enough to go for the against the Molinier on Sniper. It's uh... oh, he's dead again. Hey, that was just a, a free solo kill there for Kem. He doesn't even have a Desolator picked up yet. Whether he's even bothering to go for one, but I guess he's just doing enough work. Not even required. I mean, in terms of farm, actually, the Tusk isn't doing amazing. He's only just slightly ahead of that of the enemy cores, but. I guess he's just focusing on splitting the map, finding picks as much as possible. He's not really spending much time hitting creeps. To be fair, 
Though uh, Tusk is also a hero that tends not to farm in the mid game. You know, like you usually find him, you know, in the fifth, sixth spot in terms of net worth because even if he's a mid laner, he just doesn't farm very well. Hmm. So you often find him dipping down. So him being third ahead of all the enemy cores is a huge deal. Yeah, that is definitely true. Right. Like, it's attack. all right. Well, they, they got a chance. They got a chance. Don't worry, man. They, they do have a chance. They can do it. It is possible. If we like... believe. <laughs> do we believe? Do we believe hard enough, though? That's the key. Actually, we're talking about that. Toy's just now Toy. getting ran out. Just, it was pretty much just the right clicks alone from 14 soldiers brought him down. They're going to drop the the Viper's ult, but on towards Primal. He had the BKB activated. Out come the tree as well. They're locking nice down in Ryu. He might actually it's drop good. here. Also, on towards the Sniper getting extremely low, but he will have the Aegis. going to come back on in. But it doesn't matter. Neon are just getting picked off they one believed. by one. This is the believing. You had the faith. Fortune Souls trying to TP out. Is there any cancel? He's such a good read. Realized there was no way to stop it, and he just gets out. Fantastic play there for Fortune Soul. Oh, Ken, though. They had the He's still in the area. They got the lockdown on towards the Tusk. Can he get himself out of this one? Wants to get the blink dagger off and cool down. But Hong Kong just dropping all the dots onto him, making sure he can't get it. Oh, perfectly nice arrow. timed arrow. And that's another kill there for Reaper. Okay. That's, that's it. That's. This is exactly what they needed to help turn this game around. That's pretty much a two and a half thousand gold swing and 4,000 experience. Massive moves by Hong Hong in that fight, by the way. He got the he got the blink overgrowth off right after the... Uh, like I don't know if the BKB was on or not on Enryu, but it doesn't matter just because he was able to control them. The arrow comes out, they catch Enryu, and that's really well played. But Gondry might be throwing his life away for... Yeah, it looks like the Prime will find that kill. The Hookshot actually missing though onto Maid. That might be enough to get him away, but it doesn't matter. Neon is saying that fight you just won, it doesn't really make much difference in this game. We're still going to keep on running at you. We're still feeling strong. The Assassinate going to hit him from afar. They're slowly chipping. They got a lot of long-range damage. And that charge from Enryu, global range pretty much, manages to find him in the trees. And that's an easy double kill there for the Primal. It's still okay for Reapers, because the whole time we also have Toy farming away. He's getting close to that Orchid. He's climbing up in terms of net worth. So, you know, signs of life and, like, pretty big signs of life for Reaper with that fight. A lot of it, again, going back to Hong Kong with that Blink Dagger. However, Neon, they have four people smoked up. Who are they going to find? Is it going to be RDP? Is it going to be Toy? Uh, looks like Toy. Yeah, looks Might like need to Nargus TP real target. soon. Well, they see his illusions. But the smoke oh, doesn't no. break, so they know it's not here, but actually, never mind. Fortune Souls found oh, the real no. world. He might have found a solo in right here. Out comes the Song of the Sirens trying to TP out. Is there any cancel? Of course there is. They found the grab, the hook shot, and now Song of the Sirens stolen away for the second time this game. We'll see what the Rubik is going to be able to do with it. Not even like been, it's, necessary, it's, but it's nice. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's nice with the shard, right? Because you can get the nice heal. Uh, it's like 35% per, or so. That would be pretty good. Although, mid lane RDP, all right, gets the slow off. Yeah, he's actually going to try and poke and prod on towards the primal here. Ken just popping into the back lines just to punch the Viper once. Didn't actually do too much damage there, but regardless, it was just making space for the primal to walk away. Not that Enryu is really caring about walking away. Decides to just kill the creeps, because why not? More money. Still BKB, yeah, BKB, Lotus Orb on Enryu, so the, you know, ways to dispel a bit of the overgrowth as well as reflect the Viper Strike if he needs to. And just overall, he is running rapid. We talked about this in the draft, right? Like Neon, they have such a nice frontline uh, duo with the Tusk and the Primal Beast. And of course, you have Clockwork, who is no slouch himself, you know, saying at 1.9 health, it just shotting himself. And then he's also got the Shard, the Jetpack. I love this one, uh, yeah. Maids. He's, he's sleeping. All right, okay, this is going to be a good setup. Who's going to use their stun first? There's three people waiting for it. It's going to be the hook oh. shot. Starting things off. Actually, the Primal's going to decide to go into the back lines. We'll just try and find Toy. The Nagasaur has to run back. It's just the hits from the sniper alone doing tons of work. Outgriff did come out, but not really able to be much follow up. Now RDP's in the spot of Bobber getting hit on from the sniper. Maid's already dead in the background. And the Viper's just been completely abandoned by the rest of the team. I say, yeah, you're dead. What? Might be able to kill the Primal. Nice BKP usage, though. Keeps himself safe. Ken, no, he's not done. He's snowballing all the way to the fountain. Been completely dragged out of position. Still might be able to find Gondry. He does manage to get the kill. He could probably just TP out right now. I don't think there's any disables left. But he's going to try to run out. Buys a BKB from the enemy shop. Wants to try and snowball to one of those creeps. If he can, he needs the vision for it. But actually just gets the blink dagger out regardless. He, he just gets in and out. Didn't even need to use the first BKB charge. He's in. 
kills a person and walks out there shopping on the way out. You know, just like he's like, oh, you know, let me grab this item. My wife asked me to bring it home for her or something, and then just <laughs> casually snowball. Like what? Yeah, that's dude, top Ken. Notch play. Ken is he is styling this game. He's just having fun, you know. Yeah. He's like it's not like it's like whether win or lose. Ken ha Ken had one of the best games, you know, in, in a while for sure. Just having tons of fun with this. But uh, Reapers, they're back to where they were a few minutes ago, right? 14,000 gold behind. It's not as bad as it was last time, arguably, because, you know, percentage-wise, it's yep. like they're slightly ahead, but yeah. it's still tough. It's still tough. And Sniper has not been dealt with since the laning phase, by the way. He's 14 and 2. Yeah. He's still got double the net worth of the, uh, the Naga Siren. Ooh, looks like they just found a free kill there on Gondry. Quick death onto the Mirana. Gonna snowball forwards. Looks like the uh, tree protector will try as well. Manages to get the ult off before he drops, but it's not gonna make much difference. Ardy Pace still gonna die. May jump on in, trying to burst whoever they can. But Toys is trying to stand his ground versus the sniper. He just cannot do it. Has to use the Song of the Siren to get out. And that will allow the whole team to just TP away. Well, I say the whole team, the two survivors. <laughs> the, the stragglers, the guys, the poor guys, but. Uh, and again, another unfortunate situation for Reapers, even though they got an overgrowth off, it wasn't a bad overgrowth, but the fall off is tough, you know? It's like, you got melee heroes. Most of the damage is melee, and you're up against a sniper. Viper has had a very tough game. He's been going very defensive as well. He does have the Aghanim Scepter, the nose dive ability, which means that you can disable the Viper, the sniper. It's decent, but you have to find a way to get a bit close to him. Yeah, it's a hard one to use. And uh, I remember in the draft, we were saying that they didn't really have an answer to the the sniper because there was no way of getting into the back line, so he could just sit there and do it. But even with that, Toy was right next to him, hitting as much yeah. as he can, but the sniper just did not care whatsoever and just destroyed him in seconds, forced him to run away. I mean, it's, it just feels like this man is just way too far ahead for uh, Reaper to do much about it. But hey, there's still hope. They're starting Roche, and it looks like Reaper maybe got a vague idea this is going on. They're heading over towards the area, but... It's gonna scan, be though. way too late. Yeah, there's scan, there's a rocket, and they're, yeah, like I said, they're way too late. They're not gonna be able to find it in time. So, uh, good attempt again by Dion, just make, knowing what to do. Reaper, they're still going in though. Looks like Odepi's gonna try and get himself, but actually, never mind. Every just grabs him with the ultimate, hold him in place. He's still alive for now though. Meanwhile, the rest of the teams at the back lines, they got the grab on towards the Fortune Soul, but he's managed to pop the Satanic, root in place, wants to stand his ground and keep right clicking as much as possible. And he's just not been brought low enough. Now the damage output is really starting to flow <laughs> through. Toys already dead. <laughs> they, they GG whilst the fight is still going on. That's, uh, that's, I always feel that's kind of like a tilted GG to do it that early, but. I mean, to be fair to them, I don't really see any way they could bring this game around. So that is it. Neon Esports take game number uh, game number one, sorry, of this best of two series, and I feel like that was a much deserved victory. Like they just did everything perfectly this game. From the start of the laning phase, right when the last pick clockwork looked really good, combined with the uh, with the sniper, which you know, as we saw, RDP had no way of answering that, and the train flicker was just not enough to protect him. Mid lane went decent for Maid, but uh, once Ken was online, he was making so much more space. And bottom lane, we saw the the Mirana and the Naga Siren. I mean, that's you know, yeah, we rarely see the Naga Siren taking any points in the nets early, so it doesn't really set up anything. And uh, they were able, Enrique was able to just do whatever he wants. So Neon just ran through this game from the from start to finish. There's really no chance for Reapers, but hopefully game two they'll have a better showing. Yeah, well, hopefully they do. Obviously, like I was saying earlier, it it does sort. Of could just be good chalked up to uh you know a warm-up game now they're gonna feel mm -hmm. a bit more eager to go into this one try their hand maybe get one game under their belt at the start because that, that's a nice way to start off the like a fresh tournament get one win under your belt and then it gives you mm -hmm. a lot of like momentum and just you feel so much better going forward so let's hope for them that they can actually have a good show for the second game and uh for neon esports possibility of starting their tournament with an easy 2-0 i say easy but that first game did feel a little bit easy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Almost unfair how much they how, how they took it. But yeah, that's, I, like, or, hey, the best thing for you say, can say is that it doesn't get any worse. You know, it can't get any worse than this. <laughs> that is the worst. It can't get any worse. It can, but uh, yeah. Well, they, they tried their best. That's the main thing. Come into game number two, some fresh ideas, and we'll see what they're able to do. But we are now gonna head over to a break, ladies and gentlemen. So don't go anywhere. Game number two will be coming up in about 10, 15 minutes, I do believe. So do stick around. More Dota to come.